how's that for a new opening? Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Dialer's Hulik Tactics. It is a Tuesday night, and uh, I'm just trying to get my bearings here because I got three brand new monstrous monitors behind me. You can kind of like, and they're very, very, they're very awesome. I'm just, I'm still trying, trying to get used to it. It's going to take me like 10 seconds to get my mouse from over there to over there. <laughs> but anyways, it's Tuesday night. Uh, it is time for my This Week in Eternal Evolution segment where I basically go over the comings and goings of Eternal Evolution for the past week because tonight or tomorrow morning we're going to have the patch notes and then we're going to have the new patch that goes live on Thursday. So what, what exactly happened this week in Eternal Evolution? Well, the collab event ended uh, a while ago and I don't have a face. Where's my face? I don't have a face. There it is. So now we're kind of back to normal. Like we're back into the old, just the EE grind. And it does feel, it, it does feel significantly shorter. Like there is lo a lot less to do during the day. There is like, other than just clicking on all these red buttons, right? Like this, I can't believe they left this in game. Um, it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. So I guess they're just going to try to sell everybody pandemonium now. Which means I don't know if they're ever going to bring a banner back, but I shouldn't say that because, you know, Dora's up here and you can buy her, but she still comes back in banners. Um, I guess for free to play, they're going to have to bring them back. But interesting, I wonder how much money they're making on this. Because in order to get this, like you have to buy, you know, this one and this one, right, for $5, $10. So for $15 a day, then it'll give you this 50 I'm assuming you got to buy these two to get this one. So that's not too bad. 15 bucks for a, a copy of Pandemonium. And you get 10 limited cards and uh, 3 Gene Hybrid shards. If that's really what this is, I've never bought it, so I don't know. But if that's really 15 bucks for a copy of him and all that, that's a really good deal. Let me know in the comment section below if this is a one-time thing. I suppose I could read this. Players can receive rewards by purchasing the Carnival Package carnival sale packages a certain number of times in total oh the limit of the number of purchases is reset daily oh so it's a daily thing okay well shows me i haven't spent in a week or in a lot so who knows okay so what what exactly is going on in game well twilight lands started let's start there no i don't really want to configure my team i'm sure i can just go like this and we'll do that later as you see i haven't done anything on this account, this is the casual account. Give me that, thank you. So Twilight Lands has started. Um, it took me half an hour, 40 minutes or so to get up to level 15 on my main account. And now we gotta wait, was it uh, basically four days? Four days, so this upcoming Saturday. This upcoming Saturday, yeah, this. This upcoming Saturday to in order... Damn, I'm going to be out of town. I'm going to be on a holiday. I'm going to have to like wake up in the hotel room and uh, hide in the bathroom for 10 minutes. Uh, because this starts on, yeah, Saturday morning, this Saturday. So, ladies and gentlemen, get ready. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the bosses are. Uh, stay on the lookout for Gameplay Horizons video. He usually does a Twilight Land speed run. And he's on the Southeast Asian servers. So, you'll be able to see exactly what fights are in stage 16 uh, before we have to do it here in uh, North America. Or what you can do is I know my server, someone will post it in my Discord server. The link is in the description of this video. Someone will post it in there prior to it launching on North America so you can get a good sense of what's going on. Uh, but usually all you need is what energy, assassins, maybe tanks, and then whatever the flavor of the, of the month is, vanguards, I'm not sure what it is. Don't know what it is. But uh, you tell me if you know, because I don't know. So Twilight Lands started. You know, we all love Twilight Lands. What did we get for rewards this month? We got uh, the Thorn of Greed, which we don't, or Thorn of Glory, which none of us need. Uh, I'm sure all of us needed all of the uh, Gene Mutation 2 Crystals. That's awesome. That's what I look forward to every month. Fifth Element. Now, Fifth Element is a decent prototype. Um, it's not really best in slot for anything. Um, like, I use it for my hunter team in Disa Caves. I don't know if it, that's ideal, but this is, this is absolutely a, uh, a, a hunter, uh, prototype. And then we got this one, Impulse of Annihilation. That's what you get for clearing stage 16. So all you gotta do is be able to stage clear 16, and you're gonna get the best in-slot prototype for vanguards. 
Uh, and it's the, the first slot uh, attack prototype. And then we also get what is the, what is it, what is it, what is it? Prism Amulet. Okay, so in order to get Prism Amulet, you do have to score. I do believe it's the top five. So that is the speed run. You have to be like the fifth best person on your server in order to get that. Which is very, very difficult. I know. Uh, and then this one, Company Heroes, no one needs that. Uh, very nice. Again, I will say kudos to the devs for putting Gene Mutation 2 Crystal Shards all the way up to rank 100 Infinity. So even if you don't finish stage 16, you know, or if you don't finish in the top 10, you still have a chance of getting, you know, decent amount of, of G Mutation 2 Crystal Shards just by completing stage 16. So that's what's going on. Twilight Lands is going on. Uh, and other than that, not a whole lot else. Uh, ooh, I didn't realize that I could still claim that. That shows you how long I have not logged in on this account. So, Galactic Treasure is ongoing. Okay, so I logged in one day. And please make sure that you are doing your five, and you are doing and winning your five Galactic Arena battles per day. Because you definitely want to get this free gene hybrid. And this. These are the two big bad boys that you want to get. You know, Gene Hybrid, full Gene Hybrid. They used to put a hero up here, but then they replaced it with the Gene Hybrid. And I, I like that a lot better. Give me the power to pick who I want to use that on. Specifically since we all are, like, depleted of Gene Hybrids after the last cool lab event. Nothing really good in here. The, this one doesn't have the, the newer ones that are a little bit more rare. It doesn't even have, like, uh, the two old school rare ones. Can't remember what they're called off the top of my head. It's been so long since I've had to use it. But these are just the at launch yellows that uh, we're all going to get. So this is pretty much useless. Even as a new account, I guess if you're a brand new, this will help you speed up some of these. Because, you know, Flashpoint is going to be a new account's best friend. Along with uh, Pain Rune and uh, Flowing Rune. Those are going to be the best ones for a new account. So if you're just starting, those are the ones you want to pick. Um, if you're As soon as you get into mid-game... Pterodome is going to feed you these in droves. You're not going to need this. So really, what's what's the best bang for your buck here? It's the Gene Hybrid, the 15 Limiteds, and the uh, Advanced Recruitment Cards. But this is also going to be available for another four days. So this is going to extend into the weekend. Details gathering. We don't care. Ooh, give me a boar. There we go. Gamuzo's Bell. All good stuff in here. These are really, really good. This is the best in slot. Uh, first prototype for summoners. So this event is only up for another 30 hours. Uh, you can buy these rusted gears, but these rusted gears, if you're not going to buy them, will come for free from uh, Details Gathering. Details Gathering, if you want to get these red runes, they're under my head. They're the, the 21 clear reward or 21 whatever these uh, battle merits. Detailed reports. In order to get this, you got to spend a dollar a day. I kind of explained that in my uh, last patch notes video. Mirror of Reformation. So this is only... I was kind of hoping that they would uh, revamp Mirror of Reformation a little bit, and they would make it actually extend out uh, for the full two weeks. I don't know why they don't. Well, I guess I know why they don't. Um, they want you to pull for everything. You know, all, what is it? What's the total? 600. They want you to pull as many limited tickets on here as possible during the first week, because on Thursday... The giant tower starting and there they also want you to pull an exorbitant exorbitant i just stuttered through that an exorbitant i'm gonna stop now a whole bunch of limited tickets they want you to spend a whole bunch of limited tickets here and there so that you have to buy them right these are income generators but lots of good stuff in here so i am very 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 pleased that i uh, will get to the banners but um when you pull on this one uh, the, unlike the collab event you are getting chips when you pull on this or on Carabin's Banner, I should say. This, you have to pull on Carabin's Banner in order to get these, right? If you pull on Sif's Banner, you're not going to get um, credit for this Mirror of Reformation event. And this is primarily where you're going to get your dust, right? 200 dust, and you got some dust prior to 80. Uh, but if you can, uh, you do want to kind of pull. It was kind of slimy that they moved this copy of Carabin from 180, where this Soul Crystal Nucleus is down to 300 which means we're gonna need just one more gene hybrid because i'm not pulling 300 i'm not buying limited tickets i i even as me getting uh, content creator awards i don't have enough limited tickets to get to, to pull 300 on this and then 80 or 180 on the giant tower so i'm trying to try to pull 180 on both 180 at least is going to get me 
you know, the soul, the chaos soul crystal nucleus. I do believe, I guess we can go down here. Yeah, pulling 30 got you, you know, half of a Leo, and then you got some dust, and then you got half of a Leo. So, just pulling 80 was able to get me a full Leo chaos, or uh, what do they call them? Soul crystal nucleus shard, or crystal, right? Pulling 80 got me a whole one. Uh, on my main account, I think I went down to this. So I pulled 180, so I got this too. Which is nice. So then every two weeks... Two weeks? Yes, every every two weeks. I had to think about that for a second. Every two weeks, I, can, I, I will be able to get, you know, a Leo. Although, in two weeks' time from now, it's going to be the new hero. So, but then at least I can get... Uh, if I pull 180, I can get one of these. I don't know, I've talked about this too much. Project Premium Development, no one cares. Hell Arena. All right, we'll get, we'll talk about Hell Arena because Hell Arena Season 4 started this week. And then these don't matter. So Twilight Lands, Mirror of Reformation, blah, blah, blah. If we go look at the banners. So we got Sif as the complementary banner to the new hero, Carabin. Sif is the best or the second best summoner after Awakened Daniel. If you don't have Daniel Awaken, she is your first best summoner. So if you are a new account, uh, you do. If you are a new account that can that has this banner up, which means you are in week five or above, you most definitely want to get a copy of Sif. She is very, very good. The summoner team is infinitely weaker if you don't have her. And then the uh, piece de resistance, the main thing in uh, this week's content, is Carabin. Uh, I do have a deep dive of Carabin. I do like Carabin. Uh, he definitely makes my tank team better. He makes my tank team almost automatic in killing uh, high-level Vanguard teams, which are very hard to kill. Very hard to kill. So Carabin definitely helps that team because his basic will dispel invincibility. Even though most times now, you're probably not going to be running uh, Fiona with Vanguard, so you're not going to run into Vanguards with Fiona because Fiona is kind of pigeonholed, kind of like locked in with the summoner team. But uh, definitely, I tested him out. You guys can go look at my deep dive. Go to the end of the video where you'll see the PvP footage. He most definitely helps kill Vanguard teams. And for that, just for that reason alone, he's useful on my account. So he's cool. I would, I still stick with my initial rating. I'm still going to give him an A-, minus, but I do got to give them a big A++. For giving us the uh, chip exchange back. Uh, very, very thank you. Because there was rumors and conjecture on the discords that this was going away altogether now. Uh, and that I am so glad that's not the case. We kind of, and I kind of fueled it too. We kind of jumped the gun. Getting a little bit too scared that this was gone. It looks like it's just going to be gone for collab events. So please don't give us any more collab events for another four months. Hold off. Let us just... Enjoy the game just like our little just enjoy the idleness of this idle game because During the collab event and during December there was a lot to do each day There was there was a good like hour hour and 20 minutes in game each day Well, maybe an hour if you were doing everything so Sif banner Great Carabin banner good chip exchange awesome very good Glad to see that. And look at these heroes they got in the in the chip exchange. Sam Al, who is awesome. Although, don't purchase this. He's coming most likely. I haven't got hard confirmation. But he's coming most likely on the Giant Tower starting on Thursday. Uh, Claire, awesome. Uh, Cariolis, awesome. Arcadia, meh. Nah. Good for the Hunter team, but... No. Nah. No, she doesn't. No, not compared to these four. No, 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 no. So, yeah, there's that. And that is about it for basically new content this week. Like, right, that, that's it. There's Carabin, Twilight Lands. There's the Galactic Arena event to get your gene hybrid. And that's it. That's it. That's all. There's not even anything up exciting on the Facebook page. Uh, I do, I thought I had the Facebook page pulled up on this screen over here. Let's go over there. So, as you can see, whoa, whoa, what is this? Get out of here, get out of here. Whoa, you guys just saw too much. <laughs> Not a whole lot posted this week on the official Facebook page. 
It, yeah, my screen's dead. This looks, the resolution looks a lot better. I like it. I like it. Uh, as you see, this was the new uh, intro that I used for this video. Oh, wait, you can't see it because my head's in the way. Let me go over here. Very, very cool. Um, I'm surprised that they can actually... Or I'm surprised... What's going on? Oh, that's why. Hey, double take. Woo, there we go. Uh, I am still impressed that they do these. So there's somebody at the office that's making these. That's churning these out. And they got some really good ones. They used to... Uh, put them so obviously they're using it for an advertisement, but I don't know where because this is the only place I see it is on the eternal or their official Facebook page and they used to put these into What is this? Dear commanders, why did Miranda ever go down the wrong path? I don't remember this video Let's check this out. Whoa pause 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 pause. I want some sound. I want some sound. Okay Um. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to turn this off. I have never seen this video. I've never seen this one. So let's... It's usually pretty loud. So let's... Let's watch it together. Ooh, ooh. I like this. See, this is excellent. It's probably really loud. Let me turn down a bit. Like, wow, this is really good stuff. Whoa. She's a clone. No. Actually, there's some brown haired Mirandas in there, too. Eternal evolution. Well, Play look at that. For free. That was kind of cool. Please don't touch me. I'm not touching Whoa. you. Whoa. You need. Yeah, okay. Well, that went off the rails. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, that was really cool, though. I don't I never, I never, don't remember seeing that anywhere uh, this week when I was looking at this. But I'm going to have to ask for that um, video file. Because they do have a Google Drive that they give us uh, all of the assets for, like that stuff. So it makes it a little bit easier to turn it into uh, intros for my videos. Okay, so there's nothing, there's nothing on the official Facebook page. Nothing new. There is a one thing that I want to uh, le kind of leave you guys with that I want to talk about for Eternal Evolution this week. And that is that I got a little bit of uh, inside scoop on something that's coming with the patch notes. You guys are going to know in roughly like eight hours. But uh, you're going to hear it here first. Well, you heard it in my Discord first. Maybe you heard it on the official Discord first as well. But they uh, we are getting server merges for the EU and the North American regions. So you can see uh, in this screen, I don't, I can't my mouse, I can't use my mouse, my mouse is behind it. But you can see that uh, they're, they're, they're calling the server clusters war zones now. Now on the North American server, one to 10 was kind of like on an island all by itself. Those guys were stuck. Those were, I don't know what my bog's, <laughs> what my bog's darking at. <laughs> I haven't drank that much yet, I swear. Uh, but uh, servers 1 to 10 in NA, and it looks like in EU, was kind of like landlocked um, by themselves. And that's not a lot of population. That's 10 servers that uh, they have to fill all the guilds. Like, I don't know how many competitive guilds are there, but, but there's not many. And it's been a concern, and there's uh, people in my Discord server that have uh, highlighted the fact that it is becoming quite a problem. Or ha it had become quite a problem. Because it's an issue to keep guilds full uh, to recruit people, given that you have 10 servers that are the first servers ever created and they were probably created on day one and you can't if you were in that server cluster you couldn't recruit from the other server clusters to fill up your guild whereas you can see that na 11 to 71 that's a big that's a big cluster that's 60 servers worth of people so what they're doing is warzone one is going to be now it's going to be na1 to na71 so if you were Landlocked on NA 1 to 10. Now you can come join my guild because I'm on NA 24. Uh, and we can recruit all the way up to NA 71. And then they they don't have the other little server clusters because after 71 on EU and NA, uh, the server clusters were only, I do believe, eight servers wide. So very, very small too. So if you weren't in 11 to 71, 
you were you were just like NA one to ten. You were landlocked, and if you lost sixty percent of your players from those ten or from those nine ten servers, you're screwed. You you're, you had trouble filling your guild. So if we show you, I have a, a an example here. So this is taking taken from uh, CLS's recruiting materials. So you can see that they can recruit, or they were looking for recruiting on NA. Uh, 1171 and then those are the guilds that were available that you could play in and then it, you can see right there it's very evident that the uh, the next server cluster after na 71 was 81 to 89 so that's only eight only eight servers and kind of stupid names celestials a b and b and you can see that they were completing guild hunt 18 and then na 90 to 98 99 to 107 so after there was 1 to 10 and then there was 11 to 71 huge 60 server cluster and then they were only eight server clusters after that going forward and i guess the reason why is because server the the influx of new players was really quick in the first few weeks like I started in week two after global launch and I was already on NA24 and P they filled up really fast because they had a huge influx of new players. And as such, you know, they kept, they, they, they went all the way up to NA71, whereas NA81 to 89, they were kind of trickled out a little bit more. But what they had to do is they had to keep the, the those clusters separate because say that if people in, a in 96 got paired up with someone in 86, since there was a lot longer time duration in player acquisition, someone on 86 was arguably way more powerful than someone on 96, whereas someone on 24 was not more powerful than someone on, say, 54, because the time in between those servers' creations was a lot closer together. Makes sense? Makes sense in my head. I think I explained that right. But that's why the server cluster was so huge the, at the beginning. And then they, they they narrowed it down to eight server clusters or eight servers in a cluster each after that. Now, what this means is a lot of people don't understand what this is going to mean for you. So these war zones, they're calling the clusters now. They're labeled as war zones. So if you are, so say Twilight Lands, and Endless Battle, and One v One Arena, is your server specific you're only going to compete against the people in your server in those three game modes and then there's galactic arena which has a very small cluster of servers maybe three or four wide um if we let me close this for a minute if we go like look maybe I, this is going to be like a loose way to do it but if we go look at my galactic arena let's go look at the rankings so there's me. You see, I am in NA28. Sorry, 28. And then... Fake Smile's on my same server. But let's see Mad Bashar. He is on... 29. Let's just pick random people. 29. 29. 29. Well, not a whole lot of people in 28. 28. 28. So you see, it's very, very narrow, your Galactic Arena cluster. And that is independent of this. So just because you're in NA, now you're in the Warzone 1, you're not, your Galactic Arena is not going to be all those people in that server. You're still going to be only facing the people in maybe three servers. So if I'm on 28, I got to fight people from 27, 28, 29. Maybe. Or maybe it's just 28, 29. And then there's Summon Arena. Summon Arena always has like a little shifting cluster of servers that have to f have to face off against each other. And usually on the Facebook page, they will tell you what servers are you will be facing in Summon Arena. So this, this new system... This will not affect your Endless Battles. This will not affect your Twilight Lands. It will not affect your Galactic Arena. It will not affect your regular 1v1 Arena. It will probably not affect your Summit slash Ascension Arena. Because those groupings of servers aren't going to get any wider. If anything, maybe if you're on, like, say, NA11. If you were on NA11, well, maybe 
they'll include someone from NA like eight and nine into your cluster, <coughs> depending on the distribution of players, because those servers or those summit arena clusters, they shift a little bit each month. They're not the same each month. So it's, you're going to be minimally affected for summit arena, but <coughs> this is where you're going to be really affected is these are also going to be your hell arena clusters. So, like me, I got to go up against some Krakens now from NA1 to 10. But the power difference is really only determined by money. Because there's enough time is spent that we should... We're pretty much even. But if there were some super Krakens from 1 to 10, now I got to fight them in Hell Arena. So that's how that works. Capiche, if you got any questions, you can come into my Discord server and ask me there. So this is coming on Thursday. And they did say that once they were done with the server merges, that's when they were going to implement guild versus guild. Because what they're doing, and I got let me bring this back up. What they're doing is the why they wanting to, to group us all. Like you see, Warzone 1 in NA is 71 servers. And then we got, what's that, 71 servers <coughs> in, in Warzone 2. A little bit smaller in Warzone 3, and then even smaller in Warzone 4. And the reason why that is is because, as we discussed above... Uh, it's they don't want to burden like so free to play players that have weaker accounts they don't want to pair them up with people that have much higher much more powerful accounts so it's 71 servers 71 servers and then it's 20 not even 20 what is that 16 17 17 servers and then 11 servers so those are going to be your hell arena brackets those are going to be the, the guilds within these war zones are who you are going to be competing against in guild versus guild and that's the guild expedition which is coming to they wanted to relaunch guild expedition because that was a guild versus guild game mode but they also did say that once they were done the merges they were going to re-implement the game mode guild versus guild remember when we had guild versus guild it sucked they scrapped it but they did say in their road ahead q1 map that they were going to bring that back but they needed to get this done first. So that's probably coming quickly. And I've heard that that is Guild vs. Guild and Guild Expedition is the priority for the next couple of weeks. So if they're done this now, that's probably coming shortly. So that is my little hint. That's what's going on in Eternal Evolution for the week of January 9th, 2024. I'm trying my best radio voice. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Not a whole lot, but... I like the game like this. This is the game we love. This is how the game was for almost a year before they screwed it up with collab events. I don't know why I'm clicking buttons. What are you going to give me? Oh, 2,000 crystals. Cool. Okay. Oh, baby snowflakes went away. Didn't use them. Oh, well. Just force a habit. I see a red dot. I got to click on it. Ladies and gentlemen, the word of the day is going to be stress ball. I'm reusing words from months ago. Stress ball. Because that's what in front of me. Or that's what's in front of me right now at the moment. Uh, put that down in the comment section below. Tell me what you thought of the video. I know I was kind of all over the place. I was just kind of rambling. Um, <laughs> screwed up my uh, vernacular quite a bit. Hopefully that made some people giggle. I'll see you in the next one, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers, peace, bye-bye.